Hey folks, actually all things entry.com. Just an update on this CAD CAM case. We're just about in the fully crystallized state. On the weekend, finished waxing this uh, three unit FTP. Now we're going to, we've been using CAD CAM and we're going to use a press. So it's almost similar to um, casting metal, if you may, we're casting ceramics. So wax up full contour, which means to the exact contours, even a little over contoured, so I have something to pull it to uh, adjust back to, if you may, uh, in the port ceramic. So this is lithium disilicate, monochromatic. You can see the monochromaticism here. Uh, this is in the pre-crystalline state. This is CAD CAM. So I just finished these this morning. Spent a lot of time fiddling around with the contours, and what do I mean by contours? Well as a number of my mentors have discussed and we've had um, lectures and there's discussions online that I've um, placed really looking to have uh, flow of the arch especially from the central incisor and actually the canine posteriorly so not being able to see the distal portion of the canine when you're looking straight on and then sort of tucking in all of the cuss tips on the way posterior so you can kind of see that here and we may have to adjust this here actually now I retrospect but I'm going to leave that here and we'll adjust that when I'm in the lithium disilicate state. So the other thing I wanted to mention just as I you'll see behind me is a couple of typodonts or deniforms and this is going to be for discussion about forced eruption or orthodontic extrusion, extrusion of fractured teeth or heavily um, restored and then broken down or traumatized teeth. And the reason why that's interesting because this canine actually uh, was forced erupted or extruded it. Now one of the issues that has been coming to play is root proximity. So if you can see there between the canine and the first premolar had I had a little more time, I would have continued to, I would have actually uh, rotated this premolar a little more, well you can see for yourself on the, the buccal portion, a little more uh, mesially, just because we have some root proximity issues uh, right there. And it's difficult to contour as well. So this tooth was uh, fractured right at the gingival, gingival portion, actually secondary to uh, huge restoration. We orthodontically extruded, then we crown lengthened. Actually, got the papilla back, which was uh, fairly interesting. That's another um, lit article by Tarnow, actually. Long time ago, 1989, I think. And then we extruded it, crown lengthened, and now we're at the restorative state. So you can see how now in the res restoring state we really have to play with contours and shaping of teeth if you may or contouring teeth to make to make up for the anatomical difficulties that we're having but overall patient will be I'm sure be happy because if not we would have either had to make an FDP from the lateral to the premolar had to extract it or extract the canine make an FTP or have a gingival architecture where the after after crown lengthening the margin of the canine would have been this far apically or place an implant this is definitely easier of the two to three options uh, that I just mentioned so next step press crystalline I'm going to do that right crystallize right now and then uh, in size of translucency try and cheers